Hey guys, I have my DIY planner items here and I just wanted to show you quickly uh, what I've been working on as far as DIY for the fall and for Halloween. And first of all, I want to show you just these quick, cute little clips, these paper clips. You can just make these, just get a regular paper clip. I just got this from Dollar Tree. And I also got the pins from Dollar Tree. Um, there, It came in like a pack of eight. And um, it's actually just a pin that you pin onto your shirt. And I hot glued this onto the paper clip. And now that is my page marker. And I also made a pumpkin one that's really cute. Um, there were several different kinds that you could make out of those. So you can also cover the back if you don't want that to show like that. Um, you can just cut up piece of cardstock to fit the circle and glue that on there as well. Um, these are just some really cute stickies that I got at Target yesterday. <laughs> I didn't make those but they're very cute so I thought I'd show you those. Um, also I made this cover for my Happy Planner and I just used scrapbook paper and I laminated it you can see my gold dots underneath here for right now, but I just wanted to show you this, so I put it on top. Um, I just cut it to size. I traced the holes through my other cover um, to know where I needed to punch those holes, and I cut slits under each hole so that I can slip this onto the discs, and it worked out just great. So I love this scrapbook paper because of the foil. Um, the foil look to it to the leaves so so that is my fall cover for my happy planner and then also I have one more thing to show you quickly I have my DIY Fodori um, this was made from felt actually I found this felt at Joann's um, and it was back in the clearance clear in the back of the store and it's kind of an embossed felt um, I don't know if you can see that. It almost has a silvery look to the embossed part. So I bought two pieces of felt. I bought this elastic also at Joann's. Um, I took the two pieces of felt and let me show you. Hang on guys. Let me take you over here for just a second. <laughs> here, Actually, here's the rest of these pins. Those are the rest of the Dollar Tree pins, and this is called Plastic Canvas, and I bought this at Dollar Tree as well. And this was only like 79 cents, I believe. You can see where I cut out the size that I needed. Um, and this was used to um, make the book sturdy. I'm going to walk you back over here. Sorry about that, guys. I'm in my kitchen. Um... So, I put down two sheets of the felt. I cut them to size. I wanted a personal size, so this is personal size. And um, I put the plastic canvas in between. And then I just did hot glue. I just used hot glue to pull the sides together. I do not have a sewing machine. Um, so, I just used what I had. And so far, it's working out great. Um, let me pull this elastic off and just show you the back here. I used an eyelet, punched a hole, used a, um, an eyelet tool that I have. And then you can see on the inside, I just tied that there to fasten that on. I also used that same elastic and hot glued it on to make a pen loop. Um, and you can also see that these books were from, I think they're from Dollar Tree and they just happen to fit in here perfectly. Um, and this, the size of this, I traced my uh, personal size, I think it was a punctuate planner that I got from Barnes and Noble a long time ago. Um, I just traced that and got this size and I just happened to find these notebooks and they fit in there perfectly. So, so I put in two elastics threaded uh, two elastics through there and they are holding these books on and I'll show you this one and I plan to put a lot more in here I'm going to make a dashboard and laminate it um, 
I'm going to, and of course I'll just slide that under there and then pull it all the way through to the front. So I'll have a front and a back dashboard. Um, then I am also going to probably make another book, um, but I will make it with graph paper, most likely, and use that for notes, or I will make a calendar on it. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm going to carry this with me all the time or what I will use this for, but I just really like it. Um, I'm also going to get a charm to put on the elastic if I find one that I like. Actually, this candle that I found. It's so cute and it has this owl charm on it which is almost mainly why I bought the candle and I might take that off and put that on my photori. So anyway that's just a quick look at what I have been up to lately um, DIY wise and I hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions leave me a comment down be below and also let me know what you have made lately. I would love to know what kind of DIY things you do um, and let me know what you do for the fall and for Halloween in your planners. Do you decorate or do you not decorate? Just leave me a comment. Let me know. I'd love to know what you guys do in your planners and um, I hope you all have, um, actually tomorrow is Halloween, so I hope you all have a happy Halloween and a happy fall, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.